lunge, um, one thing that doesn't get worked very much is different positioning. So people will maybe stay in place, they'll lunge forward or you know something like that, but they don't really work much with the, the differing, uh, different possibilities with the lunge. And because you are into boxing, you are gonna get a lot out of lunges in a variety of directions because they're gonna teach you how to move back, sideways, at angles, things like that. And that's gonna come in very handy for you. So first things first, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate just the standard forward lunge, like so, you're already familiar with this. Backward lunge, like that, okay? From the side, here, and like so. Now, there are also what I like to call 10 and two lunges, meaning 10 and two, kind of like the hands on the clock. So you're gonna go forward, but at an angle. So rather than straight forward, it's like so. Now, if you look, I'll show you from the side here. As I'm doing that, my knees are still in line with the hips, and they're still they're not caving in like this. They're also in line and tracking the toes. Okay? You can do the same thing backward as well. Just like this. Don't go too wide to begin with. You want to make sure that it's just enough where you're able to get the right idea. Not so much that it's going to bother you. Okay? Next one, uh, there are two. Uh, these are gonna be great for helping to work your hips in a variety of different angles. So first of all is the Cossack lunge. Now if you can't go down very far, it's perfectly fine, but if you can get all the way, that's awesome. And this will do you a lot of good, not just for your hips, but also for your ankles and for your knees, okay? Likewise, same thing here, right? And then another favorite of mine is what's called the curtsy lunge. So for this, what you're gonna do is this leg, it's kind of like you're trying to draw a circle, just like so, okay? And you're gonna go behind, like this. So, if you'll forgive the demonstration, it's kind of like you're doing a curtsy, like a ballerina, right? Uh, this really helps to work the internal rotation of the hips, which is incredibly important, and often overlooked, and uh, will do a lot for your hip mobility as well. So, just like so, again hands wherever you need them. One thing to keep in mind here is that this leg is not flopping out as much as possible. I'm trying to keep the shin upright, all right? So all together, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, forward and backward, side to side, curtsy, one angle here, one angle there, one angle here, one angle there. This is going to make your thighs burn like crazy, but it's also going to improve your footwork, it's going to make you a lot lighter on your feet, and uh, it's going to be quite a bit of fun as well, right? Enjoy.